Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to create secure folders. Sometimes you want to keep some information safe and you want the password protected, but you don't want to rely on your locking your screen to do so. So one way to create this is by creating a new folder. I'll call it secure. Now, all the secret is on the permissions of this folder. I have some very secret documents here that I want to keep hidden from the rest of the people so what I do is gonna, I'm going to put one file as a sample then I'm going to go to the get info options and as you can see in the bottom you have the sharing and permissions tab in this section first I need to, I need to make sure that this is unlocked And I'll remove this tab for being able to read or modify this folder. And I'll make everyone with no access. Now, just to make it more interesting, I'm going to restrict my own access to write only. Notice that it says Dropbox, which means I can only drop things into the folder, but I'm not will not be able to read them. I'm going to lock my changes again. I'll close the tab, and as you can see, we have a new icon, which stands for Drop. Now that I have modified my properties, I'm going to try to put new documents inside of my folder. And since I cannot put the items into the secure folder because I won't be able to see them, do I want to continue? Yes. So it's taking a copy of these documents and putting them inside of the secure folder I just created. Now I'm going to eliminate these three elements I just added to my secure folder. But what happened when I want to open them? Well, if I simply double click here, it says the full secure cannot be open because you don't have sufficient privileges. Now this should be one moment in time when I really want to read the contents of this document. For that purpose, I can go again to the get info menu and I need to change the permissions back again. Notice that in order to change the permission again, I need to provide my authentication, authentication password. Of course, all the tutorial assumes that your authentication password is secure and is not shared with anyone else. So once I tap up my password, I can again modify read or write permissions to this folder, and now I can see the contents of it. This is not the most secure way to store information on your PC or to keep it locked from other eyes, and it always relies on your authentication password. Perhaps it's a very practical way if you want to keep up some folder secure, and you sometimes you have to leave your computer logged in and on. Okay, thank you very much.